Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So on today's video, I am going to be grilling on my camper. Yep, I'm at my house, but I'm gonna be grilling at my camper. Uh, in a video I did when we first got our camper a couple years ago, I installed this grill mount. And since then, I've gotten quite a few comments whether or not asking me like, is it too close to the camper? Does it burn it? People are saying I shouldn't have done it and stuff like that. And that's legitimate. I can, I can completely understand that. So today I'm going to take the time. I'm going to grill on it. I've got a temperature reader here. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how hot everything gets around it and the grill itself. Um, and maybe put it to ease for a little bit, or maybe I shock, I get surprised and think it's too hot and stop doing it. So um, I haven't turned the grill on yet. Um, everything is just cool. I'm kind of in the shade here, so everything's even a little bit cooler. Um, I'm gonna take a reading of the grill and of the camper itself, and then I'll fire up and give it a little bit of time to warm up and kind of go from there. So the initial reading on the grill right now is 63.7. 0.6, kind of in the 63 range. Okay, the camper, 67 for the fridge vent, 67 for the side. All right, now I'll fire up. Okay, so I got the grill started. We're at 83, 86. 85, 86. Okay, going back here. Okay, the camper is 64, 63. Okay, going up here. 68, 67, which was about what it was at. 128, 130. 67. 69, 66. All right, so it's warm. Got the grill up. Okay, I'm gonna get back here, see what it reads. So about 90, 67, about 90. That's about 160. All right, so this has been open. We're at 109 there. That's still about 69. Behind, we're at 75, 77. All right, we'll let those cook for a bit. All right, so I'm about to flip them over. Okay, so we'll take our temp. Okay, about 244, 241. Okay, this is at 84 degrees, 75 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna measure behind the temperature. about 120 right there. It doesn't, it doesn't feel hot. Like I can touch it. You definitely don't want to touch this. All right, that's about 180. So now it's about 86. It's been open a little bit. So the chicken's probably about done. Um, I'm gonna take a final reading during the chicken part. So 177, 180, okay, directly back here, 92, okay. Can I say hi? Yeah. Just, 
Just, you gotta look up right there. Just look at it right there. Um, hi. So I like to turn up my grill and burn off all the stuff. Just kind of the easiest way to clean it sometimes, especially when out camping. So I'm putting it on max. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to heat up and get hot. Uh, and then I'll take the temperature readings and then we'll kind of call that a video from there. So I got this pretty hot. It is pretty black in there, so cleaned up pretty good. So our final temperature here, 400, about 400 degrees going down, 395. Okay, so between about 390 and 400. Okay, so back here, 117, 118, 120. Okay. And you can kind of feel it. There's definitely some radiant heat coming out here. It does, it does get hot and I, I completely understand that. Uh, and my, my main thing was, is it, this was designed for this, right? Engineers spent time designing all of this and figuring things out um, and probably figuring out how far away everything needed to be so that it wouldn't burn and melt the side of the camper. Um, now, have there probably been instances? Sure, absolutely. Um, will it never happen to me? I'm definitely not gonna say that. Um, but I do feel pretty confident that what I have set up and what I've got going on will, will be okay. Uh, yeah, it's really hot. I would not touch this. Okay. But this, it never got too hot to touch. Uh, so I, I am not too worried about it. There's quite a bit of airflow going on. Um, I mean, yeah, that is 109, 110 degrees right in here. Um, and you can feel it, it's pretty warm, sure. But yeah, I'm pretty confident in that. Um, I, I really do appreciate you guys uh, watching and commenting on the different things on that last video. Um, I hope this put a little bit of that to rest. Um, I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, have a good one.